minutes for people to actually join. I see we're live. We are live. So hello, everybody. We are streaming live on Facebook and um, YouTube. So we're going to give it a few minutes for people to join us. And if when somebody does join, if they can put a comment in Facebook, because that's where I'm monitoring the comments. But for those of you that don't know, I am Ann Butler. My business partner, Lisa Rojas, is out today sick. And um, it's her loss because we're interviewing our friend, our creative friend, Rebecca Meyer. And I'm so excited about this because Rebecca has, I think we've known each other 20 years. A long time. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm going to look on my phone because sometimes it shows more than what I'm seeing right here. If I'm seeing anybody pop in and I see people are in on my phone, but not here. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to say it again. My name is Ann Butler. I am with Bella Crafts Publishing. We do a free online magazine and eBooks. And we actually did an eBook with Rebecca a couple years ago called Paper Art Collage. And this is a print copy of it. It's available as a print copy, but we offer it as an ebook and we'll be giving away an ebook to one of our followers that, that's watching today. So, hi, Sylvia. I'm glad you put a comment in. That way I know it's working. Um, Rebecca can't see the comments. So, I'll be, if there's any questions, I will be saying them to her. But, um, hi, Gina. Hi, Rebecca. Um, so, this is a print copy of Rebecca's book that we did a couple of years ago. We are giving away a free ebook. If you hashtag Bella Crafts, like, share, and comment. And then next week we'll announce a winner. But this, e this is a print copy. So this is available as a print copy too. And it's filled with, I'm trying to get this right, some of her beautiful work. And she gives complete step-by-step -step directions and it's just a stunning book so it has a lot of foil in it it does and everybody here knows I love to foil <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of my downfall hi Renee you're new I don't think I've seen you here before so with me is Rebecca Meyer. And I said it before anybody came in. Rebecca and I have known each other for over 20 years. I mean, we have been to all the shows together. She's been at my events. And um, she we has been room together. Yes, we have. We have room together. And um, I think she is a wonderful mixed media artist. She is a wonderful teacher. And we're going to get to know her a little bit today. So, Rebecca. Yes. Tell us just a little bit about your background. I live in Illinois. And I've lived in my town all of my life. Um, I have uh, two sons. And um, unfortunately, my husband died about seven years ago. Yeah. But I don't know what else. Do you want to know? Um, how did you get into art? I mean, because we all do crafts and we all do things. But Rebecca, like me, is a licensed artist. And she has got beautiful stencils with Stencil Girl. I'll show you a little bit more in detail after... Um, we get into this a little bit far further, but tell us how you went from being a hobbyist, if mm -hmm. you ever were. I was. To being a licensed artist, because licensing is a huge step and it's a huge commitment, as we know. Mm -hmm. so tell us a little bit about that. Oh, my gosh. So um, I started out, do you kind of want me to go back from the yeah. beginning? Okay. Yeah. So I started out doing craft shows and, um, 
you know, I would, I would do like two craft shows a year. So I would sew, sew, sew and do all this stuff for these two shows. You know, when my kids would go to bed, I would, you know, stay up till two in the morning. Yep. Can't do that, that anymore. But um, <laughs> I would do these came later, but eventually I started making these dolls. Here, I'm going to put this on Rebecca so that you guys can see that a little bit closer. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Okay. Yeah, they were, they're like um, 17, 16, 18th century doll re reproductions. So I would do stuff like this. And then I'd also do um, the Christmas, Easter, Halloween um just dolls, all of it. dolls and you know whatever went with it so I started out doing that and then I moved on to selling online and eventually I found out that or realized that I could sell my ideas more so and I wasn't up till two in the morning you know churning out all this all this stuff <laughs> Um, so I had a little pattern company. Oh, cool. Yeah. So in about that time, I also, um, started licensing my dolls that I made kind of like that one, but more so like Christmas Santas and things. And then also around that time, um, the big, big turning point for me, and I know you have, I've watched you before with our other friends um is when i joined scd mm -hmm. yeah we miss that so much oh for sure so it was like a melting pot it was society of craft designers yep. and it was kind of a melting pot of where designers like you and i could um meet um, manufacturers whose products we used mm -hmm. so then they would um pay us to use, um, make projects with their, um, whatever they manufactured, like plaid or paint or, or, yeah. Items or yeah, yeah everything. that was the heyday. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was a great time. It was such a great time because you could make a project, mm -hmm. you could put it in a magazine mm -hmm. back when magazines paid yes. and they paid very well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the least I ever got was $50 and I got up to six fifty mm -hmm. for, for a project. Mm -hmm. But then each of the manufacturers also paid you for using their product. So they you have, could get a thousand, two thousand dollars for one project. Yeah, for sure. Those days are gone. Yeah, yeah long gone. <laughs> they called them endorsement. Yep. Yep. You could get endorsements. Yeah. So like glue, I mean, just, you could go through your whole um, list of favorite products, products for this particular project. And you could, like you said, um, get, get more money um, for them. Yeah. Know, that way. And that worked for like magazines. And if you wrote a book, mm -hmm. um, so in that, and in, in a, as it worked out, how I found out about SCD was Vivian Parrots was on Carol Duvall's show. That's when I did too. Did you really? Yes. And Vivian um, and Lynn. Hmm? On Vivian and Lynn were on together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so I thought, hmm, this seems interesting. And so I went on, um, this was like the early days of the internet. Yeah. And, um, but I, but it came up. 90s. Yeah. They had, um, a website. So I went there and as it happened that fall, um, convention, um, was where I live, um, in Schomburg, which is like 20 minutes away from me. Mm -hmm. So I thought, wow, you know, um, I could do that. Then I don't have to fly or, you know, mm -hmm. it would, Cause I didn't have a lot of money um, at that time to, to, you know, that would be a big step for me to get a plane ticket and all that stuff. And explain it to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So, um, 
So I checked that out and that, that literally was life-changing for me. It was, I remember that one. I, I joined a couple of years earlier when it was in Minneapolis, mm -hmm. but I did the same thing. I told my husband, I need to go to this. And we had five little kids. Oh, wow. He drove me down to Minneapolis, which is two and a half hours from where we live, dropped me off at this gorgeous hotel because it was always in like a Hyatt mm -hmm. or you know, something beautiful. Yeah. He dropped me off and he, he, he left. And that night I called him and I said, oh, my God. I belong here. All these people think like I do. <laughs> That's exactly what I told my husband. I'm like, I found my people. I know. It's true. You know, it's just, this is, you know, I was just like floored and I was just so excited. And um, so at that point, I had um, work coming in, more um, um, regular work. Mm -hmm. And at that time, also, you could represent... Um, one of the manufacturers. I was very fortunate to work for Walnut Hollow, the, the wood Walnut company. Walnut Hollow. Yeah. I remember. Um, for about five years as their, their designer. I would design the um, booth for the, the trade shows and do projects. And, and work in the booth this. and do the making. Yeah, the work in the booth, demoing their, whatever they had to do every year. So that was, that was always good. And I learned a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of um, like how they work with Michaels or Joann's or, yeah. you know, all these different, you, you know, you see, you know, you're demoing and you see their tag and they're like from Michaels. And it was like, oh my God. you know, <laughs> um, yeah, they always came like, they made appointments before the floor mm -hmm. opened. Mm -hmm. so you didn't see Michaels and Joanne's walking around to show floor. They came early. I remember that. They always came early and you would always, I mean, like the owner of the company would always be, you know, because yeah. it's such a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and in the meantime, while I was doing that, I also started writing books. Um, my first book was, um, a wedding book. It was called Romantic Weddings. And I that was like a goal of mine. And that never would have happened had I not gone to the SCD. I, did we call it like a con convention or? It was. It was a convention. Yeah. You know, yeah. And <clears throat> at that time, it was a convention to where not only did you, like you could take classes and they were seminars so you could learn mm -hmm. and that was very important and you could be given a mentor mm -hmm. you know so you had a mentor that would mentor you for a year and you also had um classes that you could take from the manufacturers so the manufacturers were there they have a small product showcase that you mm -hmm. could walk but then you also had a place where you could set up your own booth that the manufacturers could walk where we weren't in there at all. Right. And they would write down and put times they wanted to meet you. And that was like the most exciting thing. If you had written on your sheet, you know, <laughs> it was like, oh. yeah, it was just, oh my gosh, it's, it was just really exciting times. So yeah. um, then I went on to write, let's see, the next one was, so easy paper craft. Um, I love the most our fabric art collage. I and think I have that one in here. I do. I have that here, down here in my bookcase. Oh, good. Um, and that really, because um, I had this this idea of the because I had this strong craft background, and I also um, worked with fabrics and fibers and things. So I had this idea. What if I combine my craft world with my fabric world? And that's how fabric art collage came about. Which so, is perfect. Yeah. So to this day, I still do um, combine fabric and paper. I posted this one on Instagram this morning. Here, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make you big. Okay. Put it a little bit closer if you can. Pardon me? Can you put it a little closer? Sure. So, oh, see, isn't that beautiful? Paper and fabric together. Yeah. And this is a product called um, 
<laughs> can't get it straight. Uh, craft texts. So in this book, most all of the cover cover is craft texts. The butterfly, um, this little medallion underneath, and um, you know papers and fibers on the spine. So again, it's um, a lot of layering and combining, you know, paper and fabric, which that's that's what I love to do. It's like a marriage. They it just is. work together so yes. well. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, and okay, so I want to show this. When my stamps first came out with Unity, Rebecca made let me mm -hmm. see. This is oh, beautiful. I like it. And she I sent like it to it. me. I love this pillow. So my stamps are, as you guys know, for full quilting. So she stamped out all this fabric and made this fabric and quilted it. But look at that beautiful flower she made. That to me is so amazing. That was so fun. Because I, yeah. I love your stamps. Well, they're fun. <laughs> but you have, you have stencils now too. Yes, right. I have stencils with Stencil Girl, mm -hmm. and you mm -hmm. have stencils with the Crafters Workshop. And yes. next week, the Crafters Workshop is sponsoring our live, and I'll be using some of Rebecca's stencils in my project. So here, I want to show you guys to give you guys an idea of her stencils. They are so beautiful. And I saw that Madeline is in here. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Madeline. So her stencils are perfect for any mixed media project. And do you even know how many stencils you have? Oh my gosh. It's got to be close to a hundred. Okay. I was thinking at least 80. So. Mm -hmm. Cause I've been with the crafters workshop for, I was trying to think today, I think almost maybe nine years. I've been mm. designing with them. And I also have, um, foam stamps um with joggles at joggles.com that's an online store right yes mm -hmm. buy it directly from them yep and soon sometime this year i'm going to be doing some or they will come out um some rice papers um that i designed for joggles as well oh oh i'll have to get some of that <laughs> and it, what's fun about that again rice paper um it's it's um fabric like but it's also paper mm -hmm. you know so um it doesn't just, tear easily i mean it has some structure yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah yeah so that'll be fun do you have any of your stamps right right there um right. you don't have to you don't have to dig but in case they wanted to see some of them Okay. And I had mentioned Madeline. She is here watching. Madeline Art was part of SCD2. Her and I met each other at our first SCD in Minneapolis. And Madeline wrote a book also. So Madeline is an awesome teacher. Too. Altered Art for the First Time, I think. Time. I, I believe that was it, yeah. Is that right, Madeline? I have that down here, too. <laughs> This is one of the stamps. Okay, I'm going to make you bigger so you can. It's kind of hard to see, but it's. Um, oh, I can see it from an angle. Yeah. And there's, I, that was dumb of me not to bring up more. No, I have an office here, but I also have a uh, space in my basement where I do all the wet stuff. Um, so they're mm -hmm. all stairs. But um, yeah, I, um, I think you guys might like them if you check them out. It's J O. G G L E S dot com. I'll put that in here. J O G G L E S dot com. And I put in here um, if you guys would like to follow um, Rebecca on Facebook, but I also put in because she's on Instagram more than she is on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Something I'm trying to do, but I'm not very good at. Um, so you can find her on Instagram and Pinterest just at Rebecca Meyer. So look for her there. And um, so you, you went from craft shows. I think that's what so many of us did. Like we went from craft shows, mm -hmm. 
found our place and then worked with manufacturers and then just went from there. So now you license products with anybody else? Um, right now it's uh, Joggles and the Crafters Workshop. Okay. So I've had other things in yeah. the past. I did, um, it's, it's uh, not anymore, but some uh, program with ThermoWeb. And also um, about, <laughs> about seven years now already, I had a, um, a program or a program is what they call when you have a bunch of ancillary products that kind of all go together. They fit like an end cap of a Joann's or yeah. they, they yeah. do something like that and they might do it with you once and, you know, so th I they yeah. find somebody else, but yeah. yeah. Um. And also with fabric um, additions. additions. Um, so that was, again, um, combining fabric and papers and interfacings and different things together to create um, art, you know, my art. I know. And, and it's so beautiful. What, hey guys, if you have any questions, put them in here and I will ask Rebecca, because like I said, she cannot see the comments. This program, Lisa and I are loving it, but <laughs> there are a few downfalls. Um, and also make sure you like, comment, and share with the hashtag Bella Crafts to enter to win a free copy of Paper Art Collage in a digital format from Rebecca. And we'll announce that winner next week. So I'm looking to see, people are commenting, but I haven't seen any questions yet. Um, but yes, please put in your questions for Rebecca because um, she's here to answer whatever you have. Um, so right now you are doing your stencils mm -hmm. and you know, this last two years have been, has been strange. So we haven't been travel teaching or doing any of that. Are you doing any teaching online or? Um, not in the near future, but I hope to later on this year. Okay. Yeah. Well, and there are some things out there. Um, Cause I was going to have Bellacon mm -hmm. two years ago and then that didn't happen. Yeah. So I was trying to do it last um, fall and I just thought, no, it's just not time yet. So now I'm kind of looking at an online version for this year and then go back to, you know, mm -hmm. because I'm ready, <laughs> but the spaces sometimes aren't, even though everybody is so ready to get together Yes, and yes. see everybody, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so that's different. So you take fabric and paper and put them together. Mm -hmm. So if they follow you on Instagram, they're able to see all your beautiful pictures. Yes. And I also, um, partner with gel press. Um, yes. you'll see a lot of that on my Instagram. I'm a real visual person. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, kind of gravitate towards Instagram. Um, I'm a technical loser. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I just sometimes I just I'm like, Oh, no, like coming on with you today, I because I have a Mac and I was on Safari. And it's like, um, you know, this isn't supported, you know, so I just switch over to Google Chrome. And I, I'm like, Oh, my God, Oh, my God. What do we, <laughs> I hope and this works. But anyway, it, that's, I'm just technically. But it's true. I right. mean, and I should have told her, hey, this program doesn't work with Safari. I mean, because it doesn't, you know. But, it, so, but it's, is this the same one Eileen uses? Yeah. Okay. That's yep. where I, I, I knew it from because I was on with Eileen Hall. So yes. our other friend, our other creative friend who is a genius. So, yes. I mean, we are very fortunate to have so many people mm -hmm. in our lives. Yes. Um, Jackie, I see that you're saying you're um, not the, not sure how to work this. It's your first live. You put in hashtag Bella crafts and that's right. 
um, because we have a program we use where it takes all of the hashtag Bella Crafts from like today until next Tuesday at midnight when we stop and it puts them all together and then we randomly pick a number. So you did it right. The hashtag helps us find that. It's the only way we can, we can do it. I would love to know what the people watching, what, what they're into at the moment. Okay. So That's if you guys can put that in the comments, if you're like, into bookmaking or just whatever. Right. You know what like I, what I do you like paper crafts, fabric? Yeah. What do you like? Yeah. Um, cooking. I'm kind of um, hooked on this new um, cable show called recipe.com or recipe.tv. I have it on right now. Okay. It's like my, I could just watch it all day. It just relaxes me while I'm working, but it's, it's, um, like all over the world, um, these different people that like, there's one from Ireland and one from Italy and oh, nice. Scandinavia. I mean, it's just, that's one of my favorite new things, but I'm always wonder and, and love to know what other people are doing. Okay. So Linda said she likes paper crafting. Mm -hmm. Jackie said she loves to sew, cook, knit, felt, and crochet. And I think a lot of crafters, do a lot of mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. um, like for me, it's hard to hone it down to one, even though fabric is my first love because I went to school mm -hmm. for fashion design. Mm -hmm. And here I am in the crafting world. It's much easier. But um, yeah. So um, Jackie, what are you asking? What was her series called? If you're asking about Rebecca, she didn't have a series, but she has several books. I was on um, Quilting Arts a couple times, Quilting yep. Arts um, TV and... Make It Artsy? Make, yes, Make It Artsy. Um, and a long, long time ago, when before Make It Artsy was... Um, oh, Soup. Scrapbook Soup. Scrapbook Soup with Julie Mc. Coffee, who I saw last week. Oh, did you really? I did. I did. Actually, I stayed at her house. Oh, we were so traveling, cool. and um, yeah, so oh, we so cool. we stayed there. So that was wonderful. I have some more people that have answered. Um, Brenda, learning slow stitching right now. I'm that I'm into that right now too. I love stitching. It makes me just relax. I don't know that I share a lot of it, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't I like either. But yeah. um, it is, you know, it is relaxing. It is, and, and learning and it, different stitches. And it doesn't have to be perfect, which no, I, I actually I've been teaching my granddaughters because I believe that all of my grandkids girls or boys need to know how to sew. All my kids learned how to sew. But right now, um, a couple of the granddaughters, we've made little purses and little pillows. Oh, cute. Yeah. Um, Renee, I'm currently cutting three inch squares for a watercolor quilt. But I love many crafts. I found you in the rope core bowls group. Yes. Thanks, Renee, for coming. I have... Um, Two new authors who are, they're both in their 70s. And they have this group. Well, one person started the group. It had like 250 people. And six months later, it had like 2,000. And I think it's been two years or a year and a half. She has 51,000 in that group. Wow. Yeah. In a Facebook group? In a Facebook group, yep. I mean, they make the most beautiful um, rope bowls. How um, fun. Okay, Rebecca, I make cards almost daily using different media sprays, stencils, and dyes. Rebecca, I have a question for you. Rebecca Yarling, have you foiled yet? She bought some foil, so every time. She says, I got to do that foiling. Sylvia, I have a craft group and they offer online tutorials for kids. 
right now they're making rag garland. And Sylvia is in our Do You Love to Craft group. And she posted a picture of a beautiful rag garland for Valentine's Day. So yes. we would love for all of you to um, join our Do You Love to Craft group. Share what you're doing. Um, the one she's watching. Okay. What's the name of the show again you watch, Rebecca? Recipe TV. Is it uh, a web? So it's www recipe. No, um, it's it's an actual it's, a, it's an actual network, I guess. Okay, say. so recipe TV, Jackie, is what she mm -hmm. is watching. I'll have to look that up. I don't think I have that. I don't, it's new to me. Sylvia loves fabric and paper crafts. Hi, Sharon. Sharon Gullickson is here. Awesome. Um, my husband just mentioned to me last night that I should teach our grandkids to sew. Yes, you should. It's just, you just start with something so easy. I think um, yes. with a couple of them, we just did, I had tote bags, canvas tote bags, and I had them sew the trim on. And we did designs for the front that they could stitch on. Mm -hmm. So they could learn hand stitching. So, yes, I think all little kids. And it gives them something quiet to do. Like, I have, like, a 32-inch TV in my, in my room that I use sometimes for a monitor. And I don't watch TV ever during the day because I'm always on the computer working, doing stuff. So. But if I'm crafting late at night, I can turn it on and watch. I watch a lot of YouTube of my friends who have YouTube channels. So, um, and then that relaxes me. It makes the time go. Hi, Jimmy. Jackie, yes. Pam and Donna are um, my other two authors that are do the rope books. Jimmy loves <laughs> embroidery, paper crafts, journaling, and handmade booklets. And I know Jimmy follows Eileen. So um, Eileen is the journal queen, I think. She's brilliant. She is. <laughs> I mean, she's, um, you know, she does a variety of of dyes, but I really like, well, I like to do my own books, mm -hmm. but also I've used her books. I mean, that are die cut and they're so versatile that you can put anything on them, like fabric right. or paper or um, just anything. And she's twice a week live. I don't know how she does it. I know. Well, Lisa and I go twice a week, but we do it in the same day. Like she goes live at noon and I go live at two. Mm, I see. Just, and maybe it's better to do it two separate days, but I know how hard it is sometimes for Eileen too. You know, I mean, we just thought if we set one day aside <laughs> that, that we could both commit to if we were feeling well. Um, Linda, I found Bella Crafts by Eileen. Yes, we do have Eileen to thank for a lot of our followers because she is wonderful. And we have four books with Eileen. So um, Eileen, okay, Love Eileen's Dies for Books just started with Eileen about six months ago. And I know like you can use Rebecca stencils mm -hmm. to stencil on um, the map board and use Eileen's Dies. I actually did a um, Facebook Live, this kind of setup um, cause I had some new stencils come out, um, the end of last year, um, last quarter of last year. And I, you, I did a live with Eileen and I showed how to use my stencils on her new, um, big book. The, oh yeah. That beautiful. The large, large, um, die. Yeah. Yeah. Journal. And um, that was fun. And what I did was I um, showed her um, followers how to gel print um, with my stencils on her and then applied it to her books. Her oh, book. fun. So that was fun. Very fun. See? Yeah. G gel printing. If you guys haven't seen it, 
you might want to check that out. Um, that is pretty amazing. We're going to, they're, they're sponsoring a live also April or May. We don't have them scheduled yet, but we know it. We were booked. So I said I can do second quarter, but um, yeah, stencils are perfect for the gel plate because it's a jelly plate and you put all your inks on it and then you can put your stencil down and put inks on top and have the imprint of the stencil. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So um, you kind of hinted that you have some new stuff coming out. Do you know when it will be coming out? I don't. I, I'm not sure um, when the papers are going to come out, but um, hopefully I'm hoping second quarter. I'm hoping. Okay. And then. I always have ongoing stencils that come out yeah. and stamps and I want to um, get going. I have an Etsy store, but I want to start um, making and selling things on there. You know what I have a lot of that I want to unload? Uh, <laughs> no, <please laughs> are, home. Um, scraps. Like I'm oh. sure you've got tons. I want to put together like color coded. Bundle. Yeah. bundles yeah because i've i have things coming out my ears you know of of and i don't you know i just keep making more and more and more things and have more and more and more mm -hmm. scraps um so you know i don't know if they would sell but i think they would i, I think i've done mystery boxes before oh have you and they've sold you so know? tell me what it um it's a mystery box people don't know what they're they're purchasing or well, I, I'll tell them, um, do you want it to be paper related, bead related or fabric related? Mm -hmm. So they kind of know what they'll get, mm -hmm. you know, but they don't have any idea. And some of the stuff is brand new and some of it may have been used on the live. Mm -hmm. Maybe I used it once or twice, you know, mm -hmm. gently used, but, um, what was I selling those for? I think I did $49 flat rate shipping box, mm -hmm. but the value inside was a hundred to $150. Mm -hmm. So they were, they got their money's worth sure. and nobody was ever disappointed. Mm -hmm. So, but I do that every few years, just when I, I, I need to clean out <laughs> yeah. um, because while I do have a beautiful space and I have a, another one upstairs that's just my sewing area. Nice. It can get overwhelming. It can. When you have so much. I mean, I, I do have, I do have paints I've had for 20 years. They're still good. Mm -hmm. And I love them so much. I just keep them. <laughs> and then you mm -hmm. have other stuff that. You, you like, but you can get rid of because you always have more. So, yeah. Jimmy said, this is a beautiful stencil. She only has a few. Yes, this one is one of my favorites. This is an older one. It is, yes. Yep, yep. I try to do um, at least one mandala um, each release. So mm -hmm. I have, if you like uh, mandalas, um, you might like, my stencils because I do a lot of them. Yeah. Well, even in this, I have this one. I have this one here. I'm not sure if I had a third one. Um, it's overwhelming how many things that are possible. Um, when I tr try to stay focused on one thought, my imagination takes over. Yep. It is. It's because creative people oftentimes have minds that don't shut off that's true very true and my husband would always up until I was sick I mean I, I got I was sick um as most of you know in um October November December you know um and I slept all the time it was something he was not used to because I I I run on three or four hours a night that that's and even last night I went to bed and I laid there at 3.30 and it was like, you know, and I did finally fall asleep 
got up at six and just thought, why, why try? Because I had so much to do and there's so many things in your mind. And yeah. it's hard for a creative person sometimes to, mm -hmm. which is too bad. Where does Rebecca sell her stuff? So her stencils are available um, through the Crafters Workshop, which is in many shops. And do they sell online? Yes, they do. You can buy them off of their website. So the Crafters Workshop. Exactly. And Jamie has been around for over 20 years, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jamie had, had a retail store. Mm -hmm. and she went into just making stencils. And she has beautiful ones. And she has stencil butter. And she has powders. She has all sorts of things. So oh, cool. that would be the craftersworkshop.com. And then Rebecca's stamps are available at joggles.com, which I put the address in. Yeah. And in the stencils too, I mean, um, you can buy them on Amazon. I mean, or independent uh, stores. Mm -hmm. We like to, um, you know, direct people to the independents because. Definitely. If your store carries them or if they, if they carry the crafters workshop and don't have Rebecca's, ask them. Yes, yes, please ask. To order them. <laughs> I had one of my design team members, she was from Paris, and she took a picture, and there were all of my inks. And it was like, oh, my stuff's in Paris. I mean, I was so excited. Oh, it was an independent, but, you know, how fun, you know. Yeah. Madeline said she likes to do everything. Yes, she does. I've been to Madeline's house. So and... much. <laughs> Talk about an out-of-the-box thinker. Mm -hmm. um, Madeline does all kinds of cool stuff. She does. Because mm -hmm. um, she will think of different ways to use yes. this. Mm -hmm. Out of the box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I agree. I, ha I have to get used to gel print. I have some... Wait. I agree. I have some to use with gel print. Oh, the stencils. Yes, Brenda. Um, I know. I need to do some YouTube things, I think. Um, it's hard to be good at everything. It, it really and you know, truly is. It um, is. Because. I mean, it is. You know, for, a, I don't know, five minute video. There's so much time and effort and that goes into that, mm -hmm. you know. Um, if you're not doing a live. Right. Yes. And yeah. honestly, the lives, they're just way so much easier. But, I mean, there's still a lot to, to go into because you're making a project. But when you are doing a project and you have to edit that and you have to put a beginning mm -hmm. and an end and, I had an editing program I loved and it's no longer available. And to learn a new one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so can, this is, you know, I always have technical questions, but the, what we're doing now, is this um, recorded? And then do you, can you put it on YouTube? I, it's, it's on YouTube right now. It's live on YouTube. Oh, although okay. I'm only seeing comments from Facebook. A couple mm -hmm. things came in from YouTube. So maybe I can see comments from both, but maybe nobody's watching from YouTube mm -hmm. right now. Um, Lisa and I have been doing Facebook lives for about two years. I myself have maybe been doing them. I did them on and off for the first year, but my internet was no good. I mean, my internet was horrible and I couldn't, I live in a town of less than 300 people and my internet here was horrible. So when I got a new phone, I could do it with my phone, but not on my house internet. But um, they finally let me go up to 40 megs <laughs> because I had 10 megs download. I could download anything, but to upload, to go mm -hmm. live, it said I had 10, but it was always at a one. So now it's much better. So um, even with Facebook Live, you can take, if, if you didn't have a program, if you did Facebook Live, you can take and save that video and share it on YouTube. Oh. So. I did not know that. Yes. Yes. And, and I don't this, know about other people, but it's like, 
if I'm focusing on something, everything else like stops, mm -hmm. you know, I have, but I have like five of those things going. So yep. it's like, you know, um, I don't know if anyone else is like that, but it's like works in progress, but some stuff um, there's deadlines for, and you've got to finish it up. And that like takes you away from something um, oh. else. So there's, yeah. we, we need like five of ourselves. Yes. We need a team. <laughs> <laughs> um, Madeline said we're making her blush. Oh, that's okay. Oh. Madeline. We love you. Yes, we do. Jackie says, when I focus, everything around disappears. It's true. I mean, when, especially if it's a deadline, you know, you know, you got to get it done. I know Eileen and I work the same, whereas we've never missed a deadline, but we might be doing that deadline and sending it the day it's due <laughs> because I work well under pressure, which is not a good thing. I'm usually um, down to the wire also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, you know, but when you have a deadline, some of the best work, I think, comes I from that. Because you try things that maybe have been in your mind and you never had time to. So you just do it and it's like magic mm -hmm. when it works. For sure. Yeah. For sure. I know. So um, any other questions for Rebecca? I'll wait and see if something comes in. Jackie agrees. Yes, it's true. I mean, it's just um, creative minds. And that's why we love coming here every week to see you guys. Because Lisa and I do two Facebook Lives every week at noon and two o'clock central time. And we share projects with you from our wonderful sponsors. Next week, the Crafters Workshop is going to be our sponsor. So I'll be using some of Rebecca's stencils in my project. I, I should have brought the project that I did. I did this really cool um, tote bag with her stencils, too. I upcycled oh, awesome. the tote bag. Oh, I'm really into anything... Um... That can be recycled or um yeah you know, i'll pick up you know somewhere and see a cool piece of paper or something you know i um i love found things and repurposing things mm -hmm. and, um using found things to print on things um you know i just um i always have i've liked um to recycle um just about you know, anything, fabric and paper. I mean, it's just fun. Right. Because like if I used to own a store and, you know, when I closed the store, I sold almost everything, but I had a lot of paper left. So I had like paper that maybe I loved, but, you know, you get tired of it. So I would take a stencil and stencil on top of that and add, stamp on it and make it all new. And that's what a lot of Rebecca does mm -hmm. layering and stamping mm -hmm. and stenciling. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes things beautiful and useful. Um, Jackie, you just came across us today. We are live every Wednesday under Bella crafts at 12 o'clock noon central time and two o'clock central time. So twice a day, once a week um, or twice a week, all in one day, <laughs> however you want. Um, and um, we started this a year ago where the last Wednesday of the month, we do an interview with one of our creative friends because we feel that we know so many cool designers and artists that you guys never get a chance to maybe meet them or see them or see what they do. It's nice for you guys to have a chance to see them this way in this nice format so we do this one once a month and the rest of the time we do craft projects with really and every single week we offer giveaways so our sponsors sponsor the giveaway and this week 
because it's an interview and Rebecca has done a book with us. We're giving away paper art collage in an ebook format. So like, comment, and share. You'll be entered into the giveaway and we announce the winner next week. That's very generous of you, Anne. Thank you. Oh, I love this book. So um, we are going to say goodbye. If you want, make sure you follow Rebecca on Instagram where she is most. Mm -hmm. And also on Pinterest under Rebecca Meyer. And I put a link in here for her Facebook page. So make sure you go over and give her some love. Rebecca Meyer Designs. I put the link in. So that's, oh, thank that's you. In there. Yep, yep. Thank you. So thank you all for joining us today. We hope you have a wonderful afternoon and it is full of crafts because crafting is good for your soul. It is. Thank you, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.